Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome to uh, the video for Asynchronous Week. And this is the video for the intermediate class. Uh, we're gonna do a patriotic number today and this week. It's a uh, number called the Star Spangled Banner. Key of D. Two, three, one, two. <laughs> have it, the Star Spangled Banner, written by Francis Scott Key for all you history nerds. Here's the chart view. Um, this tune is a waltz, so we're playing in three-quarter time. Um, you can kind of see how that's laid out. We pretty much have a measure, a measure, a measure, and then different timing happening in there. Um, luckily, everybody's probably heard this song a few thousand times, so it's pretty easy to guess how the timing is going to go when you're starting to work on this song. Um, we do have a couple of accidental high threes. That's a D sharp note, and that is a D sharp note. They don't normally belong in this key. Um, we do have low two on the E string and high three on G. And uh, other than that, uh, we're in good shape as far as tunery goes. I'm gonna play this one time through while you guys check out the chart. Here we go. have it so two times through the top part one time through the second part if you're not playing with any other musicians and you want to get all dramatic you can drag out some of those long notes and uh, pretend like you're singing the anthem at a baseball game and uh, let's go ahead and go to the overhead view and check out what the fingers look like when we're playing this make sure that's good yeah stuff working all right here we go um so the high three on the D a couple of times, it's gonna go from regular three, which is right here, to high three up here. All right, here we go.
you have it, the Star Spangled Banner. Obviously a classic and uh, should be pretty simple to learn. Um, again, as far as the bowing goes, if you miss those slurs, it's really okay. Um, most of the time we worry about slurs uh, in fast tunes to keep our bow going in the right direction. Um, however, this is a waltz and definitely a song worth some respect. So um, watch out for your tone when you're playing the song and uh, play around with your dynamics if you want to, which would be the loud and soft volume changes such as... <laughs> interesting thing you can do to kind of make your song sound a little bit more like a human's playing it. All right, you guys have a happy 4th of July.